Hello guys, once again this is Dazman and I'm going to be doing another video. My clan is currently in a clan war and they are pretty strong so let's go look and have a... Go look at some bases. Yeah, as you can see that this clan is 50 and is closed with 3,600 members. Now all these members are pretty strong as you can see mainly level 70 and 40 and above. We do have the odd, like level 25, but I think he's the only level 20 person in our clan. Now with this you think we'll have quite a lot of wars won, but we do have our average short of war. You see, we did have a bad one there, but like we have one more one, then we lose one. So it's every once in a while that we lose and win one. So this clan wall seems pretty even and pretty decent. As you can see I'm rated number 41 because my clan is pretty high. I am a level 43. It's not one of the highest, you know, average levels, but it's still a decent level. As you can see I'm rated 41, so that's pretty good for my clan. So, if you look at their top players, they aren't tunnel 10, but they are level 100. So, it does make quite a difference. Okay, so enough talking about the clan wall. I will post videos on the clan wall and show you guys the new awesome live feature where you can watch your videos live. Like when my time is attacking, I can actually watch it live. So that's a pretty cool thing that Supercell has brought into the game. And another thing is that the one thing I like about it is if you donate something in clan walls, you can easily say no at once and just send it back. So yeah, it's really cool. And yeah so i'm just gonna go show you one of my clan members base uh, legend he says it says he's new but he's actually not he's been here for quite a while so yeah let's go visit him and he's actually really cool he's uh, he's quite a cool guy when i play with him often and yeah as you can see he's gonna get his whole guide as soon and it's really cool because this guy, he's like always online with Gummy and all of them, they are always online. As you can see, he has a spell factory with a rage spell. Right now, he's using a very weak attack technique, but it does pull in quite a lot of loot. I try this technique quite a bit, and it works quite well. So as you can see, his storages are quite full. No, not like to the max, but it's decent. Now, he's lucky because he is Tunnel 8, so he can get a Dark Elixir Jewel, but as you know, they only produce like 20, yeah, 20 per hour. Look at that, that's amazing, 20 per hour. So, um, yeah, he's got a pretty good base. Once you get past these level 7 walls, it does get pretty hard to get the black walls, so he's doing pretty well. He has taken into uh, thoughts and really thought of this game well, and he knows that if he get attacked... They will always go for a corner, so it's really good. So I'm just gonna show his base for a little bit. Okay, um, so now guys, I will show you my base sign, and this base sign is actually pretty good. I know I did lose this previous sack. I know I did... Okay, well the last three stats aren't very good, but this one was a pretty decent attack. I did place my bombs pretty nicely, so he couldn't really attack from the right place. He did attack from a stupid position. I wouldn't really attack from the top corner. As you can see, he's not very smart as he uses one bomb guy, but it is a smart technique because if it does get killed, then both get killed. Anyone gets killed and you still have one extra. As you can see, he is going for a loot raid. He wanted my gold, and I'm fine with that because I'm not really upgrading anything at the moment. All my things are already upgrading, like this uh, Arctic Tower and this defense over there. So it, it's pretty fun. So, as you can see, he did not get anywhere near the center of my base. He was busy running around the side of my base, he couldn't get anywhere in, and it was actually a pretty good raid. And yeah. So, so yeah, this was a pretty good raid 
from him, but he did not get in my base. As you can see, he's using a heal spell. So yeah, um, this guy, he he wasn't the best. As you can see, he couldn't get anyone in my base. He most probably wanted my Dark Alexa, but he couldn't get that other. And this base design would be much stronger if I clank also troops in there, but I like to use them often. So yeah, that was a let down there. But as you can see, my two other Alexa and Gold Storages are very safe, and they cannot get there anyway. So yeah. Um, guys, I did show you Legend's base, and it is pretty cool, it's quite legendary, hence the name Legend, so yeah. Uh, I can show you one more base, uh, let's go look at one more base. Um, let's see, okay. okay. Let's look at Lord Aiden, he... Uh, I've been talking with him quite a bit. So yeah. Now, this clan loves to donate. Okay, and you can see he he's, he's sort of farming, but it's not really farming. It, it's a lot of people try this technique where they don't put their town hall right in the corner of the base. They put it on the edge where they put defenses, like splash defenses, so the splash defenses can reach it and they put bombs. So if someone does try to get them, they're still going to have a hard time getting there. So it'll even ward off that. So it protects their loot and it protects their town hall in a way. So it's not like a hundred percent foolproof, but it works. And as you can see, if you do try to attack him, you will hit bombs and traps. So it's really good. I don't really agree that he only has level two bombs. I have a level three myself, and they work really well. Also, giant bombs also level one. But that's just him. And as you can see, he's centralized his dark extra storage, and he is. Put his mortars all around. The stupid thing is he has upgraded two mortars at once, which is not very smart because you need at least two mortars on land at a time, defending your base. So yeah, that's a really good thing. And yeah, uh, that's all for right now. As you can see, it's a little three bucks. Um, guys, yeah, that's all for today. And thanks for watching. Uh, Please subscribe and I really enjoy making these videos so if you do want me to have a certain type of video I did do an all wall breaker attack which I did not get on video I think I have it on my attack log Let's go see Nope, it's not here But I did do an all wall breaker attack I do not have the attack uh, saved or as a replay so if you want me to do that again I will gladly do that again It was pretty funny to watch it. all of the walls disappear he had no, no walls and all defenses and everything still upstanding. So I really enjoyed that and I'm busy on my way to gold level 3. I was there originally but I did drop myself down to this easy of troops but I have now decided I want to move up and laugh. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you guys for watching and please comment and subscribe. I really appreciate it and I think that's all for now. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.